Today I'll show you the easiest free way to make your website cookie compliant. First, we will create a free account on this website and then create a cookie banner that will be visible at the top or bottom of your site when someone visits it. Lastly, we'll also talk about cookie scanning to see what cookies your viewers accept and reject. So go to this website and choose the free plan. I'll put my email ID and website name here. Once you're finished, click on get started. On the next page, you can choose whether you want a box or a banner template for your website. I'll select banner, then click on the next step. Now, we need to install this on a WordPress site. So on the dashboard, look for cookies plugin. Here it is. Uh, let's install and activate it. Now, you need to connect your cookies account to this plugin. So from the install plugins page, find the cookies plugin and then click on settings. Click on connect to web app, click on login and connect. A new window will open showing the email you used for your account. Click here. Once you connect your website, navigate to the cookies web app. Now you need to verify your email ID. So go to your email box, click on this link, which will take you straight to the cookies dashboard. From the dashboard, you can get a quick preview of a banner to see if you need to change it. From the dashboard, click here and it will take you to your main website where you can see what your banner looks like. Click the customize button. Then the other two options here are accept all and reject all. The accept all button agrees with all types of cookies and the reject all button does the opposite. Now let's explore these other tabs of the plugin. I'll go to the cookie banner tab. There you'll find tools to change the cookie banners template, look and content. The cookie manager lets you manage your cookie list. You can also perform cookie scans and schedule a scan for any period you want. In the consent log tab, you can see the consent trend of your website's cookie. Next, the languages tab lets you pick your cookie banners language. This is useful when you have non-English speaking users visiting your website. You can click on add language, then add any language to ensure your users understand your cookie policy. Lastly, the advanced setting shows the cookie banner status, the banner display status and the consent log. You can disable the banner display status if you want to check for a bug in your website. This option will help you to determine if the cookie plugin is the root cause of plugin or code conflict. Before we move on, we need to make sure that our site is fast because adding customizations like these can slow down even a new website and drive away visitors. So I'll go to elif.net, sign up from here, enter my website URL and click continue. LF will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, lazy loading and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just LF is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now, let's move on to the next step. Now, let's see how to customize our cookie banner. First, the general section allows you to choose your consent template. If you have US and European visitors, you must select these two options, but that requires a pro or a higher plan. Then you have the geo target banner where you have options like worldwide, European Union countries and UK. You can also select specific countries if you want. This option allows you to add a DNS link to your website's footer section the advanced settings allow you to choose your user's consent expiration days. By default, it is set to 365, but I'll put it to two weeks. You can also reload the page after consent action from here, but I advise you to avoid that because it may cause performance glitches. Now here, you can choose between a box and banner layout for your cookie notice. You can also select the specific location on your screen where the notice will be displayed. Next, in the content section, you can change the title, and message of your cookie notice. You can also add new content for the do not sell link. If you turn on the cookie policy link here, you need to provide the link to it in the box below. Click the opt out center to suggest content to your liking. You can change this line with the save my preferences button and it would appear in the opt out preferences box. Here you can see an alt text for block content it's handy when you have YouTube or Vimeo videos on your site. If you have videos on your site from these websites, your users must accept cookies to access such content. Next, we move on to colors where you can choose between light and dark themes for your cookie notice. You can also select an auto generated color based on your website's color palette. Finally, you can use custom CSS option if you want advanced customization options. I think I'm done. 
So I'll click on publish and then I can preview it from here. Next, I'll show you how you can change the language of your cookie notice. Click on the language tab here and you will see that the default language is set to English. Now, if you click add language, you can set up any language to target a specific demographic. For example, I'll put Spanish and then click on add. You can then click on edit content. You can see that the default cookie notice has been translated to Spanish. A word of caution here. This translation may not always be exact. You may need to change some words and sentences. To save it, click publish changes. To see which cookies your visitors are giving consent to, you will need to perform a full cookie scan. So go to cookie manager and here you'll find the option to run a full scan. Click on scan now. You can also check your website's cookie scan history by clicking here. If you click on more info, it will show your detailed report on your cookies. You can check the consent trends of your cookies by going to the cookie yes dashboard. Make sure that the consent logging is activated so that the dashboard shows all the results. Once you've made all the necessary changes, click on publish. Now let's see how it appears on our page. Hmm, here it is. Looks good to me. Comment below if you have any doubts and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.